1. Which one of the following is not a contribution of the Ethiopian victory over Italy at the Battle of Adwa during in 1896? A. It was the symbol of black consciousness and pride. B. It was the reason for Ethiopians' underdevelopment. C. It made Ethiopia the symbol of freedom in the colonial era. D. It made Ethiopian independence possible. Answer, is B. It was the reason for Ethiopians' underdevelopment is not a contribution of the Ethiopian victory over Italy at the Battle of Adwa in 1896. In fact, the victory at Adwa is often seen as a key moment in Ethiopian history that helped to preserve the country's independence and sovereignty, and it is celebrated for its role in promoting African unity and inspiring anti-colonial resistance movements across the continent. 2. Institutional responsibilities as attributes of one's profession and his, her role emanating from his, her membership of a society and a given profession belong to. a. Governmental responsibilities. b. Group responsibilities. c. Family responsibilities. d. Private responsibilities. Answer is. b. Group responsibilities. Institutional responsibilities are obligations that individuals have to their profession and the society to which they belong. These responsibilities are often defined by the rules, regulations, and ethical codes of a particular profession. They may include things like maintaining professional standards, adhering to ethical principles, and promoting the best interests of the profession and society as a whole. Examples of professions with institutional responsibilities include doctors, lawyers, engineers, and teachers. 3. Wayzero Turingo works in the factory and she is involved in a manual labor work. Accordingly, Wayzero Turingo is a. A white-collar worker who handled certain office in the organization. B. We cannot determine the nature of Wayzero Turingo's role. C. A professional expert who is graduated in industrial engineering. D. A blue-collar worker who exerts a lot of energy in the job. The answer is... D. Wayzero Turingo is a blue-collar worker who exerts a lot of energy in the job. The term blue-collar worker typically refers to someone who performs manual labor, often in a factory or other industrial setting. These jobs are often characterized by physical work and may involve operating machinery, assembling products, or performing other tasks that require physical strength and stamina. Examples of blue-collar jobs include factory workers, construction workers, mechanics, and truck drivers. 4. Self-respect is acknowledging one's strengths and weakness and the true identity of the self and act accordingly. Hence, self-respect is important to a. Knows the weakness of others. B. Builds one's own false image over others. C. Benefits oneself at the expense of others. D. Be respected by others. The answer is D. Self-respect is important to be respected by others. When someone has self-respect, they are more likely to present themselves in a confident and authentic way which can lead others to respect them as well. By acknowledging one's strengths and weaknesses and acting accordingly, an individual can build a positive reputation and earn the esteem of others. This can be especially important in personal and professional relationships, where respect and trust are crucial for success. Self-respect can also help individuals make better decisions, set appropriate boundaries, 
and maintain healthy relationships with others. 5. Which one of the following is correct the characterization of free market economy and command economy? A. While what to produce and how to distribute is determined by the government in the command economy, it is the market that determines such issues in a free market economy. B. Both free market and command economies prohibit the role of central governments in determining the nature of production and means of distribution. C. While what to produce and how to distribute is determined by the government in free a market economy, it is the market that determines such issues in a command economy. D. The market has no significant role in determining what to produce and how to distribute in both the command and free market economies. Answer is A. While what to produce and how to distribute is determined by the government in the command economy, it is the market that determines such issues in a free market economy. 6. Mrs. Luna is an HIV AIDS positive patient. Her doctor advised her to keep her health by taking all necessary measures. Yet, she has served male partners whom she invited for sex without condom. This case shows a. Unknown sexual behavior, b. Feminism that affects men, c. Forced sexual abuse. D. Deliberate transmission of diseases. The answer is D. Deliberate transmission of diseases. Mrs. Luna's behavior of having unprotected sex with multiple partners despite being aware of her HIV AIDS positive status and being advised by her doctor to take necessary measures to maintain her health shows a deliberate attempt to transmit the disease to others. This behavior is considered unethical and illegal as it puts the health and lives of others at risk without their consent. It is important to practice safe sex and disclose one's HIV AIDS positive status to sexual partners to prevent the spread of the disease. 7. All of the following are rights of accused persons, except one. Which one? A. The right to defend themselves in front of the law. B. The right to voice their arguments against their allegation in front of the law. C. The right to present adequate evidence supporting their innocence. D. The right to be free from detention till their crime is proven by law. The answer is, D. The right to be free from detention till their crime is proven by law is not a right of accused persons. In most legal systems, an accused person can be detained before their trial if there is probable cause to believe that they committed a crime, or if they are deemed a flight risk or a danger to society. However, they have the right to a prompt and fair trial, where the burden of proof lies with the prosecution to prove their guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. If the accused is found not guilty, they have the right to be released immediately. 8. Which one of the following is a form of patriotism? a. Relying on personal whims. b. Engaging oneself in a civil war. c. Fighting against unethical practices. d. Denying others' rights. The answer is, C. Fighting against unethical practices is a form of patriotism. Patriotism is the love and devotion to one's country and a desire to serve and protect it. It involves working towards the betterment of the country and its people, promoting its values, and defending it against threats from within or outside. Fighting against unethical practices, such as corruption, discrimination, and oppression, is a way of protecting the values and principles that a country stands for and upholding the rights of its citizens. This can be considered a form of patriotism as it involves working towards the betterment of the country and its people. Relying on personal whims, 
engaging in civil war, and denying others' rights are not forms of patriotism as they do not involve working towards the betterment and protection of the country and its people. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my latest content. I appreciate your support and feedback, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.